Hey, what's up? Squarepants here, and I have for you a pretty ridiculous uh, gameplay here. I actually managed to pull off two of the Dark Ops challenges in one game. I got the Nuclear Killer, which is uh, earn a nuclear medal, 30 kills without dying, and that in turn also got me the Brutal Killer, which is earn 25 kills without dying. Um, now these, I have confirmed by watching this gameplay that they have to be weapon kills only, gun kills only. Your score streaks don't help with that. I thought maybe they did, but they, I didn't think I didn't think I got that many gun kills only, but I, I guess I did. And um, so yeah, because I'm just gonna go through here my my class setup that I used to get this, and we'll go through a few tips and stuff on how to kind of help you pull off some big scores like this, which I mean, for me, this is kind of a one-time deal. I don't do this all the time. I do it occasionally, but this is my first and only nuclear so far. At the time of recording this, I have only gotten one, and this is it. Alright, so, my class, I, uh, well, you can tell I did this on Domination on EVAC. That part should be obvious to you. And the class I used was, my primary weapon was the VMP submachine gun. And with that, I had the VOA site, the biometric object analyzer. So that kind of shows friendlies and enemies. It's kind of it kind of lights up red when you're highlighting over enemy and blue over a teammate. And then uh, the attachments on there were grip and quick draw. I tend to run grip and quick draw on most of my uh, most of my classes. I just I just like being able to to aim down the sights faster and just less recoil. So that, I don't know, that, that works for me. I mean, whatever, that's just, that's kind of personal preference, but that's what I use for this gameplay. Um, then, my secondary was the XM53, and I don't think I touched that this game. I don't think I used it at all, which I usually use it to shoot down enemy UAVs and stuff like that, but maybe they didn't get any. Uh, then I had the, my lethal was the combat axe, which came in pretty handy. I had uh, a couple kills with it, which was kind of fun. And then the tactical was a concussion grenade, which I throw off of just to kind of get the jump on people if they're coming around corners. I know they are. I'll concuss them and slide out and kill them or do something of that nature. Perks I ran. Perk 1 was 6 cents, which is very handy because it kind of shows you where people are. So if you're running around, it's even through walls. So if you're close enough to them through a wall, so if they're camping on one side of a wall and you're on the other, your 6 cents will will kind of show you where they are, so you can get the jump on campers sitting in corners waiting for you or something like that. Perk 2, I ran Scavenger, which is very handy, especially if you're not dying, if you're going for a big streak, then you don't have to be picking up enemy weapons or other weapons on the ground, you can run with what you've got. Perk 3, I use Gung Ho, which I like using on my uh, run and gun classes, my SMG classes generally, because then I can kind of throw my throw my grenades and stuff like that to shoot while sprinting, so that is a, just increases the, the speed of the gameplay. You can keep running around a lot faster and stuff like that. And my specialists I used for this, I used the Prophet with his glitch ability, which came in super handy a couple of times. I think two times for sure that I can remember where I used that to save my life and help me to get some more kills. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to kind of give out, uh, I guess, a couple hints and tips and stuff that I use to do to, that I use to do this gameplay. I just kind of got to get into the right mindset when you're playing because often I will run around um, sort of mindlessly like I'm I, 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 I play pretty cocky sometimes I guess like I'm better than I actually am and I think that if I just jump into their spawn I'm just gonna mow the ball down and that's not the case often they will get me. So what um, a big thing for me that I like to kind of keep in mind when I'm playing is slow it down. Uh, like just because I can run on the walls doesn't mean that I should be running on the walls. Just slow down, look around the corners before you run out, and just just generally slow the game down. And you you will, you will at least for me, I definitely saw an increase in my in my scores and stuff like that when I was just taking things a lot more cautiously and slower instead of just going all all Rambo and running around like like a maniac. So that's a that's a big one. I, like just because yeah, don't run on walls because when you run on the walls, I mean do run on walls for certain things you need to and it's really helpful. But don't do it just because you can. 
and if you're going to be charging on an enemy, don't be doing it on the wall because you are a much larger and easier target when you're when you're on a wall because you can't really strafe back and forth. You're kind of forced to, to run in that straight line, so it's a lot easier to kill people when they're on a wall versus on the ground. There's you're not strafing around like like crazy. Um, you'll notice a lot of times I spend a lot of the time in the the center of this map. Just because this guy kind of freaked me out there. He, uh, I didn't see him at all. I wasn't even playing, so that was that was handy. Um, yeah, there was a few things in this game that kind of gave me an advantage with the, the fact of them not having full teammates for the first half. I don't think. I think they gained a full team for the second half, but that definitely helped. Not being bombarded by by enemies all the time it helped me to, uh, to keep my streak and do better, obviously. So yeah, another thing you'll kind of notice is I've I, I stuck to the center of this map quite a bit actually. I stayed in the cover of the building and instead of running into the open because well, you're easier to kill in the open. I mean, there's less cover out there and they can kill you from more places. I guess. I mean, there's just less cover. So I, I tend to kind of stay in the middle and try and cover the flags that we had and pop out to cap flags with our teammates and stuff like that. But. Um, yeah, there's my nuclear. I got the nuclear. So now I was just... Actually, I didn't know I had it yet until I got there. Then I knew I had it. And then I, oh, then I was super excited. And I played this guy right here. Check this out. He has no idea where I went. That was awesome. So now, the, I mean, the adrenaline was just pumping. I was just giving her. I wish I could have uh, had recorded this live. Because I, like, I had to go back into the theater mode. I can't. I couldn't record it live just because my computer is not good enough to record while I'm doing it. It just it starts to lag up and stuff. Plus, like I don't want to record all my games while doing them because I don't want to fill up my hard drives with lots of useless games. Like I said, they're not all super awesome like this. <laughs> Anyways, where were we? Um, yeah, no, stick to cover. Stay. Uh, I like I said, I tended to stay inside of this building fairly often. Um, just don't necessarily run out if you don't have to. Cover the flags that you have and try and cap the ones that you don't. Um, a big thing in Domination is if you have A and B, you don't need C. Don't even worry about getting over there because that will mess up the spawns and then they're all going to spawn at Alpha and then you're going to have to cap C and then they're spawning somewhere else and if you just stick with A and C, or A and B, sorry, then you know that they're going to spawn over by C and you can kind of cover that and cover the routes towards the flags from that spawn area so that and I gotta control the map that way. Um, oh, check this glitch out. I think this is it. Kill that guy. Oh, that saved my life. Big time. So, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Uh, the, the, the three major points that we've kind of come to through, through all my ramblings here is number one is slow it down. Slow down your game. Don't be just cruising around like an idiot. Slow down, check your corners. Be cautious as you're walking through doorways and stuff, and you will increase your gains, I can almost guarantee it. I mean, it does come down to some skill level and stuff that you need to have, but still, slow it down and just be ready to shoot people when you're walking through doorways and stuff like that. Um, stick to cover as best you can. Don't just sit in one spot, like, don't cap and just walk through the doorway, but cover. Stay, stay cover. Don't be running in the open, because that's not going to help you. You're going to be a wide open target to people. Um, and if you're playing Domination, don't go for all three flags. You do not need all three. You need two. Two flags, let them have one. You know where they're spawning. Control the map that way. And that is basically all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, guys. Thank you for watching. If you could, leave a like, comment. If you haven't already, subscribe. I've got uh, some crazy clips and a montage I need to start working on, but it's going to be awesome. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will catch you later.